Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana and today is going to be an interesting one. So, I had an idea where we find like for a reading, for to read a book, except we're going to read it in a scary location. So it's not that dark out yet, hopefully. <laughs> but um, I was thinking of bringing The Haunting of Alejandro. Alejandro, so that's what I'm going to read at that scary location. It's about La Llorona. And about a woman who's overcoming like grief and something like that. So I thought it'd be a fun idea for Bookoween. And it's gonna be scary, it's gonna be interesting, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's get going. So we are in the tunnel. This is what it is. Wow, it's so high, even I can lift touch the ceiling. So Oh, it's a pentagram, which is not always evil, by the way. So there should be earth, fire, wind, air, and spirit right at the top. So, yeah. I don't know how to feel about it. It's pretty cool. So this is what it is. So yeah, I think it used to be like a stream over here, but it got blocked off. Um, and now it's just overgrown. This is just a tunnel with a lot of graffitis. So, it's a really interesting place. And all that fun stuff. So yeah. Something, oh, it's that branch and touched my hair. Yeah. Unfortunately, nothing's going on that much. So enjoy it while you can. Everything's on right up here. You can tell there was a stream once. This is his call. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All that interesting stuff. for the tunnel. So I don't really like to sit. Maybe we can sit on that rock. This is so sketchy. <laughs> but maybe we can sit on this rock. Even the rock's not that comfortable. But um, well, that kind of looks like a skull. Like that brown thing next to that rock, right there, that looks like a skull. I'm freaking myself out over here. So please like this video. I'm risking, I'm risking my life just for this book. It doesn't help that, that this is a scary book. Okay, here we go.
So I think I'm actually gonna head out. It's getting really late. It's almost nine. So I might just finish this off in the dark. But um, yeah. So it's gonna be really interesting. I can't wait to see this video. I hope you guys will too. There's like practically no one here now. Even though the, the park closes at 11 p.m. But yeah, I'm just gonna head out. So far, I'm really liking the book. I think it's really interesting. Um, but I just don't like the Alejandra so far and her husband. But otherwise, it seems really good. And I'm also hungry, so I do want to eat. That's also another reason. So um, yeah. So I'll see you guys when I get back home. Wow. That was so bright. Okay, so we're back home as you can see. And that was also a fun time. I do want to do it again. Maybe in like a haunted hotel. I think that'd be really fun. But that is for next year. Guys, I don't think this year, next year will top this year book Halloween. Unless I get crazy and creative out of my comfort zone. But yet again, being in a scary place is not in my comfort like. It's not in my comfort zone because I actually love scary places. So that was honestly nothing. It's just 
and got too dark too quickly, so. And I'm hungry, so I really want to eat. But otherwise, I will continue reading in the dark. But yeah, guys, look. This is gonna be lit. I am ready for it. Okay, so. I changed my clothes. I had I got food soon. So now, and my phone is charging because it's it was dying, and my flashlight was also. I feel like it's dying because it kind of flickered while I was reading it. So I feel like it was dying. So that's not a good sign. So now I'm just gonna pick up what I left off. Really? Uh. Which is funny because I was reading this book so fast because like I was running out of day daylight and so many night time. It's 9.30 and it's night time. Like y'all, Samba is done. But like so but anyway, so my laptop does have to be on. I'm actually filming two videos at the same time. So if I said something that is not related to this vlog whatsoever, I apologize. I'm trying my best, but I have a memory of a goldfish, which is an insult to the goldfish because they can remember up to five months. I can't even remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. So that's probably concerning. But anyways, let's shut off the lights. Let's read in the dark and continue, and this time I probably won't be hurrying up as I did in that tunnel. It was also really cold, so fun time. So, <sighs> three fun fact. <laughs> wow, well, I'm stalling, but that's okay. Fun fact you can actually summon my Lorna. So, let me know if you want me to do that for next year, book a read. I think it'll be fun. Stupid, but it'll be fun. You know what to say? Yellow. Three, two, one. Hell nah. I'm too nimble for this. So. Let's continue to read. This is how much faith I have in this flashlight. So. Yeah, if it flickers, I think it's really dying. We will see. It was pretty dark. I watched my husband achieve his dreams while I sat at home. Wanting to die, forgetting any dreams of my own. Wow. I don't know how to feel about that. I have to turn on the light for just a quick minute, but I have to show you something that is like really, really spooky. Ready? Come on, you can't get any spookier than this. <laughs> You're reading a haunted book that actually has a ritual with these lights on. Oh my god, this is a thumbnail. I'm thinking a thumbnail of this. Oh my god, like how scary is this? Honestly, you know, if you're not into scary, this will be scary stuff for you, but. Oh my god. And without the light. Yeah. This is what we're talking. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to laugh. It literally looks like I'm doing like a ritual. Oh my god. Welcome to this room where we do humans. <sighs> I'm having way too much fun with this. Oh my gosh, I saw. Off camera, I had a bang. That's why I turned on my light. Let's go check it out. What is happening? A 
Oh, for pink sake, that thingy for your foot. You know that thing down there? It was on the door hinges, right there. Oh, that's what made it bang. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. <sighs> this is making me way too stressed out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, back to reading. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I, I'm so mad at myself right now. I made a cut on my head and, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, what is up today? This is not my day. <laughs> and the way I haven't brushed it off is, um, questionable. It is questionable. Uh, right there. <laughs> I had to brush my hand off on that book. Oh. <laughs> and I had to have gone have a cut. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, I think this is a sign I should go to go to bed. It's like ten forty two PM right now. Oh my god. I think it's a sign I should go to bed. Ah why did I have to go over here? Come on! Well, I'm definitely not giving away this book, guys. People will panic. <sighs> but so far, since I am on here, I am enjoying the book. So, yeah. We will see when it's going. I'm having too much fun tonight. Alright, hey guys, so... I think I'm gonna call it a night. It's a little bit late. It's almost 11 p.m. So I'm gonna call it a night. I have read about in this much. So yeah. So a lot of strange stuff has happened. So I think that's a sight to call it a night. Um, but um, I really like the book so far. Um, I like the Legend of La Arona, even though it's dark. But, um, I think it's just an interesting legend that has been incorporated with this book. I think it fits so well. Um, God, I'm hearing things. That's a time for me to go to bed. Ah! And my throat, it feels a little bit off today. I'm hoping I'm not getting sick. So I don't know about that. Uh, that's not a good thing. But anyways, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. And um, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!